Hello and welcome to Math Steps. Today we are going to learn how to identify the upper and lower bounds of numbers to decimal places and significant figures. Remember, bounds are always plus minus half the units being used. Let me explain you what this means. It says the following numbers have been rounded off to one decimal place. Use inequalities to describe the lower and upper bounds of each number. Now, one thing you have to remember, when you identify the lower and upper bounds of numbers that have been rounded to one decimal place, that doesn't mean that you have to round this number to decimal place, the number has been rounded. So we need to find the numbers that can be rounded to one decimal place and have this answer, okay? Okay, so half a unit, now we round to one decimal place, so put a little dot under this is the first decimal place. Now the next step, you need to identify the place value of digit seven. And the place value is the 10th, so it is going to be 0 0.1. So we need to have this one divided by two, the answer is going to be 0 0.05. So this is called half a unit. And then what we do to calculate the upper bound, we are going to uh, add, so 4.7 plus 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and the answer is going to be 4.75. This is the upper bound. And the lower bound, it is for 4.7, take away, 0.05, take away 0 0.05, so you can use a calculator, so 4.7, take away 0 0.05, and the answer is going to be 4.65, 4.65. Okay, so our number, uh, the numbers, or our numbers are going to be in this limit, so smaller than the largest one, smaller than the upper bound, so smaller than 4.75, okay, and bigger and equal than 4.65, just like that. So this is the inequality that the question asks us to do. We're gonna do exactly the same thing with 18.6, one decimal point. So this is the one decimal point and the place value of digit six is the 10th, again, 0 0.1. So don't get confused with the 0 0.7 or 0 0.6, it's going to be 0 0.1, so it's the 10th one decimal point. How this one? Oh, 0 0.05. And we follow exactly the same, 0 0.05, 0 0.0. Exactly the same strategy is for. So for the upper bound, we are going to do 18.6 plus 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Uh -huh. And the answer is going to be 18.65, 18.65. Point six five. This is the upper bound and lower bound. It is eighteen point six. Take away zero point zero five. So eighteen point six, eighteen point six. Take away zero point zero five, and the answer is going to be eighteen point five five. Eighteen point five five. All right. And now when you write the inequality, put the number. Huh? And number, our number, or our numbers should be smaller than uh, 18.65 and bigger and equal than the lower bound, which is 18.55, just like that. Next question. Here, the following numbers can be rounded off to two decimal points. Two decimal points, so this is the second. This is the second decimal point, so it's the no, digit three. And the place value of digit three is going to be not the tenth, it's going to be the hundredth. So it is 0 0.01. So divided by two, the answer 0 0.01. 0 0.01 divided by two, the answer is going to be 0, 0 0.005. Okay, 0 0.05. Now, of course, for the upper bound, we are going to do this, 0 0.43 plus 0 0.005. 
and then the answer is going to be 0 0.435. 0 0.435. Okay, and for the lower bound, we take away so 0 0.43, take away 0 0.005 right and the answer is going to be so for 0 0.43 0 0.43 take away 0 0.0.005 the answer is going to be 0 0.0.425 the inequality is going to look like this our numbers uh, should be smaller than 0 0.435 so always smaller than the upper bound okay but equal so bigger and equal than 0 0.4 to five okay now follow exactly the same strategy to find or to describe the lower and upper bound of this number so again to two decimal point this is the hundred the hundred so follow exactly the same strategy now let's have a look at another example when our numbers actually have been rounded off to one significant figure Again, remember, it's not the same as rounding to one significant figure. The number has been rounded. Now we need to, to find the limits uh, the, uh, using the inequalities. So, uh, first, this significant figure, we, to identify the first significant figure of any number, we don't count the zeros in front. So, it's the whole number the first all you know, integer, so it's going to be this one here, digit four. This is the first significant figure. And actually, again, as we did with decimal point, we need to identify the place value of digit four. So this one is the tenth. So this one is going to be the hundredths, tenths, tenths, hundredths, hundredths. So it's again, 0 0.01. And exactly the same strategy, half this, Alvin, this one is going to be 0 0.005. Then add this one to the number for the upper bound. So upper bound is going to be 0 0.04 plus 0 0.005. The answer is going to be 0 0.045. Okay. And the lower bound, of course, we need to take away 0 0.04 take away 0 0.005 and let's ha let's find out we can use the calculator so 0 0.04 0 0.04 take away 0 0.005 equals the answer is going to be 0 0.035 so the upper and lower bound and now inequalities express inequality in inequality so numbers are going to be smaller than 0 0.045 and bigger and smaller bigger and equal than 0 0.035 just like that follow exactly the same strategy to do this one but actually one significant figure is digit seven and what is the place value of digit seven so the, the, this is tens hundreds this one's going to be thousandths so it's going to be uh, thousand zero point zero zero one so you have to halve this and then add uh, half of that to, to find to identify the upper bound and and take it away from this number to identify the lo lower bound so i'm going to let you uh, work this one out to two significant figures two significant figures so it's not this one is going to be the second significant figure so place a little dot under the second significant figures and again identify the place value place value of digit nine is going to be not tenth so this is a tenth so this is a hundredth so it's going to be 0 0.01 halved oh, answer is going to be 0 0.005 and for upper bound oh, you are going to do 0 0.59 plus 0 0.005005 and then you work well, the answer yourself and for the lower bounds is going to be 0 0.59 take away 0 0.005 and just like that and then to use inequalities inequalities again numbers smaller than the upper bound and bigger and smaller bigger and equal than lower bound Exactly the same strategies for this. Here we have the whole number, 
two significant figures. The second significant figure is digit three, is this one here. And what is the place value of this one? It is the hundreds, hundreds actually, it's a hundred. So 100 divided by two, we're gonna have 50. So plus minus 50, upper bound is going to be uh, 1,350. And lower bound is going to be, so take away 50 is gonna be 100, 2,050. And so the numbers are going to be in this limit smaller than 1,350, okay? And bigger and equal than 1,250, just like that. And here you have so many other numbers to work independently. Uh, numbers here have to be rounded to uh, one decimal places for the first one and two decimal places for the second one. And in the next slide, in the next slide, uh, the numbers, so many numbers for you to, to round, to, to find, to describe actually the lower and upper bounds, not to round, to describe uh, two, two significant figures. Okay, you choose any number you want to work independently, follow exactly the same strategy. So, number one, identify the significant figures, place a little a dot under or a little line or anything you want, or highlight it, okay? And then find the place value of that digit, halve it, add it to the number for upper bound, take it away from the number for the lower bound. And when you write inequalities, be careful, it's smaller than the upper bound, and bigger and equal than the lower bound. Thank you very much for watching my steps. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.